what's up guys and of course welcome to another video from me the Scarender and today we're gonna do another kind of discussion video and as you see if the title below is gonna be whether or not Afro should drop to RU and before you go and bash on me on this hear me out because it's it's not a simple um, answer really it's more of something I felt throughout Auras not necessarily X and Y uh, Afros, of course, was in actually in you until Generation Five, did get a massive raise in Generation Six due to its mega evolution. Moldbreaker did not really change a lot for it, but its stats did, uh, being a special attack of being extremely high, 165, which is probably uh, easily top five special attack, I do believe. Um, should probably check that out before, but um, yeah, it's definitely it's up there and has access to a great range of covery moves that being of course a single beam um, let's see power <laughs> single beam a power gem and of course a dragon pulse which now is a stab boost which is real nice and of course the electric moves that do pack and after that is sadly the hidden powers not the, the most varied one but definitely covers the, the most of its issues sadly does not pack the flash cannon which would be really nice for it but uh, yeah the new type for it, Dragon, didn't really help. Dragon is a massively strong um, typing in any generation, actually, access of the Mega, of course, Generation 6, where it got, it's still strong, but it got nerfed and got a bit more weaker, which made fairies that roam in the highest tiers, OU, uh, really, really good against it. And I think that's the reason it, in late X and Y, actually dropped to UU. Um, it has a lot of um, common threats and checks for it and even straight on counters being that uh, in OU we had ladders uh, where every ground type really in, in uh, OU can be able to deal with Afros really nicely and most various can even in UU a, a lot of variety range of variety of uh, fairies can deal with Afros really well like Slurpuff we got um, Flawjets with walls and even Blissey, Snorlax to some extent can actually wall Afros really well and that's what I want to read out, reach out on, is that there is a lot of strong, slow hitters in uh, uh, UU, uh, and most of them being extremely powerful, but I do believe, or I really feel myself, that Mega Amphros might not be on par with those. So something I really want to see is, I'm not saying it's good enough for RU, or bad enough for RU, because I think if it was dropped to RU, it would probably get a few weeks, um, you know, get his good jab on Jellicent and... Uh, Tyrandrum, uh, all of them be an actual, actually can win against those fairly well. And of course, with like Agility, you can actually outright massacre the tier itself. So it is probably too strong for RU. Like, I'm not going to avoid that fashion, is not what I'm trying to say. But I would want to see um, lowering for it to get the Mega Absolite uh, banned from um, RU and actually make Afros available in the lower tiers. I, I think myself that Afros is not that good in UU. But I have been actually been wrong about it since August. Uh, do mind here, it has been dropping in usage in UU since of Oras. Um, just to say the reason why it has dropped is because uh, the very reason really is Sceptile, Mega Sceptile and Mega Swampert, which definitely counter this thing really, really nicely uh, and makes this harder to use. Uh, so it went down, I think it was actually up in UU for 25%. Uh, in uh, what's that? Uh, February, and then it been like basically dropping a little bit every third month, and now it is on ten percent. So it's not nearly as bad. Let's see, thirty. There we go. Or seven, eight percent. It's not in the range of getting banned from the tier, mind you. It actually is more, or is as as it is just as much use as say, let's say both Heracross and Arcanine Infernape which I truly think are more powerful Pokemon, but Hill is, is actually the more versatile Pokemon. And of course, I think the reason it's doing so well in UU to some extent is because it actually deals with Suki Su really, really well. And has to actually deal with a few Pokemon that could wall it. But like I said, Crocodile, for example, is a Pokemon that can win the matchup. Um, Mega Sharpedo's Ice Fang can actually do a good chunk of damage this thing. And even Agron to some extent can actually deal with Afros, but just because of the very reasons being extremely bulky. Uh, there are a lot of bulky Pokemons in uh, UU, a lot of hard hitting. And like I said, I would really like to see Mega Afros go down. But also, as I said, 
it's not a bad Pokemon. That's hardly the case. I just want to see it drop to see if it's too powerful for you. And if so, if not, then which one counteracts? I mean, with the likes of Flygon being an RU, um, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. But at the same time, I do realize while well, well, I'm saying this, that there are also issues that make Megaphros too powerful in RU. But like I said, it's falling in UU. And I'm really looking forward for the November listing of um, from the Smogon and see how well Megaphros has done. And um, I will say this over and over again. I'm not saying Megaphros is a bad Pokemon because it's very obvious that it isn't. But I really want to see... I want to see some kind of change, and I want to see if um, if you uh, is good for it. And the only way to find that out is to let it keep dropping and fall into RU and then realize how well it will do or not. Um, what are your thoughts? Like I said, <laughs> I will say this over and over again just to avoid conflict, really, but it's not the case. Uh, but I knew that this title of the video makes, makes um, could make people mad, or it could make uh, people very defensive, but... What I'm trying to say is that I do realize that Megaphros might just be a bit too strong for RU, but it is also a bit too weak for UU. To some extent, the matchup isn't helping it. It has clear choices where it can do well, but it's very obvious when it doesn't, and um, therefore this video. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope my thoughts did at least share some extent uh, of... Um, well, what this can be all about. Like I said, Amphros is... Uh, it has very, very good stats. It is the speed that makes it uh, vulnerable. Very, very vulnerable in any tier, actually. But UU seems to be quite dangerous for it right now. But uh, I am I could be wrong. I'm very likely wrong. But even if I'm not, I really want to just know what you guys think. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching, guys. And uh, until next time, take care. Bye.